Good morning. How are you doing? I hope the answer to that is that you're doing well, both in mind and body and in spirit. Please God, Hashem should send a refuah shleim, a speedy recovery to all those who need it. And it should keep us all safe and allow us to feel His blessings in our lives. And I think that's exactly what's on everybody's minds. Where are the brochas? Where are the blessings? Things seem to be so difficult at the moment. And so many obstructions. Not only obstructions between us and each other, and not only obstacles between us and getting business back online, but there seems to be some kind of an obstacle between us and God. It's as if we're talking and talking and talking and nobody's listening. You might well remember, not all that long ago, that there was a period in contemporary Jewish history where Jews lived behind what we called the Iron Curtain back in the former Soviet Union. And of course, the implication of saying that people lived behind the Iron Curtain was to say that we had no way of reaching them and they had no way of escaping the reality that they lived in. It was impossible to get out of that country. And you wonder, where does that expression, Iron Curtain, originate? It does not date just to the time of the Cold War. It actually goes all the way back a couple of thousand years ago. Our sages used the expression. And they speak about how an Iron Curtain is this impenetrable barrier. But there can never be an Iron Curtain between us and Hashem. Yes, we get impatient and we'd like to have answers right now and we'd like to have blessings right now. And that's correct and that's appropriate. We have the right to ask Hashem for goodness that is revealed, that we can relate to, that nobody has to explain to us, that we can actually see it as good and we have the right to ask for Hashem to give it to us right now. But if our prayers seem to be going nowhere and it appears that we're not getting an answer to our prayers, that should not stop us. That shouldn't stop us pushing harder. In fact, sometimes it is that way. You see this in many stories throughout Jewish history. That Hashem waits. He waits until we dig really deep. He, he waits until we ask from the depths of our being. In the language of the, of the Talmud. Sorry, in the language of the Tanakh. The expression is, Vayitz'aku el Hashem. They cried out to Hashem. It doesn't mean that you scream loud vocally. It means that this is something which touches you so deeply that you really, really daven hard and genuinely and sincerely. And I have no doubt that we've all done this. Sometimes Hashem understands that we're capable of something even deeper. And when that happens, there's no such thing as an iron barrier. There's no such thing as an iron curtain. There's no such thing as any force in the world that can block us from praying loudly enough or deeply enough that Hashem should hear it. And there's nothing that should block Him from being able to give us the brochas that we need in our lives. So Hashem should hear our prayers. He shouldn't push us too hard to have to really dig even deeper than we are already de digging. He should hear our prayers in their current state because I'm pretty convinced that they're sincere. And He should bless us with toi vanir vanigla, revealed brochus in every area of our life. Health, finance, shalom bias, and everything else that we need. And most importantly, He should help us with the greatest brocha of all, which is the one we really need more than anything else, the coming of Moshiach now. Have a wonderful day and stay safe and stay sane.